Stream, 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 stream. Chuck in the live dashboard. Streaming, streaming, streaming. It seems like we're streaming. I keep forgetting to change the name of this. Of the stream. Yeah, are we live? It seems like we're streaming. That's super noisy too. Not a great sound. I'm using the the Logitech mic here on the best on the on the webcam. So it's not the best sounding. Usually I have this other microphone set in. Now this will be fine. My friend Kate's coming in about 30 minutes. What I want to do is work on some uh, Photoshop stuff. And so I have a uh, let me switch to my camera. So I took some photos of a background I want to change. Um, let's see. I never use this thing. Where is it? Yeah, there we go. This is the bottom of oh, the top. Yeah, so I took a picture of. I just lost the server. Really? Why is this so bad? Well, it looks like my airport connection, airstream connection has dropped. I don't know why. Let's see if I can. Is it actually detecting this? Or did I actually lose the entire stream? No, oh, well, anyway. This is not going to work. Looks like the air server just crashed. Let's see if there's an update. So anyway, I'm going to grab off of this phone some pictures. We've got a Dropbox. Bleep. Hmm. Uh, let me switch to the chat room view. So basically there's this black space under here that I want to actually put something, a texture in. And I thought that would, that would probably be pretty cool. Let me switch to the live stream channel. Yeah, it just looks big and it's kind of black. I could put something there. So what I was thinking of doing is loading in an image out of, let's see if I can even find it. Um, Let's see, this is Dropbox, so it would be camera uploads today at 8.26 a.m. Uh, it might be this one. Oh, yeah. So either this one or... Why do so small? Or this is like the darker one. They look straight when I took the picture, <laughs> but I guess they're not. Um, but I will load this into. I should have cleaned these things too. I'll load this into Photoshop, uh, into Lightroom, and uh, do some adjustments. Come on, Lightroom. Seems that I'm in the Discord chat right now, which you can get to to. Uh, davidsay.com slash stream chat will take you into that channel to appear in this this area over here um, so let me see let me synchronize my camera uploads folder let me embiggen this well they actually added um, Full screen support for Lightroom. For a while, the Creative Cloud apps weren't actually working right with it. It was just embiggen and just take up a regular desktop. Well, like, it's not good to see those subscription dollars at work. This is still importing. So anyway, this this bottom bottom left right area is what I want to. Um, make a little bit less stark looking. Let's 
to importing files. Recent pictures from this one and this one. Oops. Mm, tomatoes, the farm stand. All right, so we've got this. And what I want to do is, I, this shadow is like, I, I deliberately caught it with that shadow. And what I want to do is maybe see if that, what that looks like tucked beneath the screen area. So let me do some adjustments. I go to the develop menu. I'm stressing out my computer. Uh, and then there's a um, this transform here. We should align everything, hopefully. Auto. So this straightens out everything and tries to line it up as best as possible. Um, so yeah, this this will correct some, uh, perspective shifts. It looks like it's done a fairly decent job. Let's see what happens if I. I just want to see how straight this is. Yeah, it's, it's off a little bit. Let's see if we can fix it. So right now I'm looking. You can see this. Uh, this I'm using this this horizontal area here to align up with the edge of. Uh, the grid here. I don't know. If, yeah, you can you see this very faint grid line that I'm kind of crossing over here. That's what I'm using to align it. And I'm just slightly rotating it so it's as close to align as possible. It's like minus 0.14 degree. And let's crop that in a little bit more. And which numbers do I want to grid? So you kind of want to get every stuff on the side. Maybe it'll look cool and technical. So maybe something like that. I don't want to get the Fiskars in there though. Maybe we'll just go to 10. It's a good number, right? And I said, okay, so now I've cropped that down. Oops, it looks like I screwed it up a bit. I kind of want these numbers there too. And we'll bring this in a bit. I want to cut off the Fiskars. That looks okay-ish. No, it's still crooked. Look at the top of the numbers. I think it's fairly close. Yeah, I guess the distortions. Well, I'm only going to use a little part of it, so maybe the distortion won't be quite so apparent. But what maybe I can do is... There's a de-skewing thing. Is it this? Yeah. It looks like this side is a little bit smaller, so I need to skew it up just a tiny bit. It doesn't look like it does it in fractional degrees, though. Um, you can see the distortion everywhere. Hmm. Well, it's not perfect, I guess. Let's try some other vertical level alto guided. I'm not familiar with the guided one. That's a new Lightroom feature, I think. Now let's just undo and get back to where we were. Undo crop angle. Redo crop angle. Okay, so now let's bring this into Photoshop. Edit the copy with Lightroom adjustments. Hope we don't run out of memory. I should make sure that Photoshop's not trying to hog it all. So here's Photoshop. Oh, I can't put it on. Let me go to here. Let me move this to this screen. Let me try to. Hardware encoder is dying. See, Photoshop is not maximizing to the full screen like Lightroom is. That's probably like way too many things 
for it to manage. Here beeps. Two posts in the chat room. Oh cool, like Kit Hazard and David are talking in the chat room. Oh, um, let me see. I'm using Scrivener, uh, Quiver, Quiver app. Try switching to the live streams channel so I can see what, if you're watching me, if you're watching. Oh, work stream works. All right, so I am now back in Photoshop. Um, let's see, what am I doing? So I have this, and what I wanted to do was pull up a recent, I guess I need a screenshot to fit that. I know it's 270, it's, what's the size of that? It's, um, I should really find my calculator, <laughs> pull up an Excel, a Excel document and look at it this way. Uh, let's see, I know that the window is, let me find another, where is the window? If I look in my raw sources, no backup streams, YouTube directory, just captured some screenshots just for it so I can pull screenshots out of this to see what it looks like. Yeah, so I can use this. I think I can actually save an image out of this. Edit, file, save, or export. Isn't there a uh, save a screenshot? feature. This is saving as mp4. Just so that there was a, a capture screen thing, but I guess I could just go full screen and cause this one was an export picture. That's where it was before. I don't see an option for specifying the file format. Um, hmm. Where to move to duplicate? Well, I guess I'll just embiggen this and it'll just take a screenshot the old fashioned way. So I want this as a reference. Oops, Command Shift 3. Grab a screenshot. I can close that. Oh, this Dropbox is intercepting on my screenshots. I can never find it. I really just wanted it to. I should have done the other command shift. Uh, so one of these is the. That's it. I, I, can, I should clear out this folder. So let me open this in Photoshop. And that'll be my reference. And so this this is 40 by 270, I think. Oops. And it's 40 by Yeah, it's 480 by 270. So then the area that I need is going to be um, let's see, 19, uh, 1920 minus uh what did I say, 480? So it's going to be 1440 by 270. So I need to have a 1440 by 270 image. 1440 by 270. Resolution 72. Background. This is, I don't want that color. I want um, sRGB. Okay, so now I don't need that image anymore. There's my destination, so let's grab this and see 
what that looks like. This paces in as a smart object. No, I know I should not have gotten rid of that that other image. I should have dropped it in right there. Get the smart object. Just in fact, let me. I'll leave that there. And let me reload open recent screenshot and blah. And let me just. Oops. Profile paste mismatch. Um, maybe I should have chosen Apple RGB. Well, let's see what happens. I'm getting an, an error dialogue. This is a mismatch in the color space. Let's see. Convert this to smart object. That allows me to scale it without losing resolution. We are just sort of figuring out how this might look. So I want to drop it right down there. Let's see how that looks. That's too busy. Um, someone's beeping. Where are these beepings coming from? Chat room? Oh good, people are talking. In the other, other chat. Cool, they're talking about Vizio. Video. Oh, I forgot to post the live stream address. are doing. That looks super busy. Maybe the white one would be better. Or maybe I should just have a very plain background. Let me carve out a hole in this. Oh, wait, no, I can't do that. Do I have another texture image? I do like the texture by its... The slight texturing is nice. I mean, another another kind of texture I might use is something that's just like a powder-coated metal. It doesn't need to have a whole lot of personality. Um, do I, maybe I have an image that's, that's suitable. I'll go back to Lightroom. And, well, there's also this one, too. Let me go uh, turn that, rotate that. Where's that rotate icon? Is that a big in it? Yeah. Uh, which way do I want to go? I want to go this direction. I, it looks like I aligned this one better, too. And let's go through the same rigmarole. Um, let's try auto. Let's try full. Full seems to do a better job of straightening it out. Let's crop this baby. Let's catch a little bit of that shadow. Still a little bit. Crooked though. Just a little bit though. So let me try aligning. So actually no, here it looks like a line. So I'm looking at this this horizontal. Um, where'd it go? That one's aligned. This a lower third one. It's actually pretty aligned as well. It's just it's actually really close. Why is the top one not look good to me though? I think it could maybe be nudged slightly. Point one. You know, point one degrees seems to have improved it a little bit. There's still a bit of distortion. Maybe, uh, okay, maybe it's because I need to actually, there is a camera distortion calibration. Lens, where's the lens correction panel? Enable profile correction. Lens profile. I should know what this camera is. Auto. Doesn't recognize the iPhone. Okay, 
keep going ahead. Lens profile, make, Apple, model, iPhone, 6 back camera. I have an iPhone SE. It's not listed here yet. Um, profile. This, I think it has the same camera as the 6S. So, that actually does look a little better. Yeah. All right, let's edit this sucker in Photoshop. And a copy with Lightroom adjustments. Um, we're in Photoshop now yet? Or do we? It's not even sure. Okay, we are in Photoshop. Let me grab a chunk of this. But actually, let me get a duplicate of this. And let me do some adjustments, level adjustments here. Uh, just to fade out a little bit. Maybe I should use contrast reduction instead. Let's see what that looks like. Image. Where is it? It's under layer adjustment. Is it layer adjustment? I should make an adjustment layer though. Uh, let's just see what the brightness contrast does. Sure. Let's adjust these settings up here. Uh, these settings. I can't. Let's increase the brightness. I want to blow out those numbers so they're less contrasty. Doesn't seem to be doing anything though. I want to blow out the numbers but retain the texture. I don't know if that's possible. It probably would have to do a texture lift by doing a high pass filter, but it would also pick up these numbers. Hmm. Let's take a look closer and see if there's any text work usable texture. Not really. And I can see the JPEG artifacting. There's color fringing. It's annoying. Like maybe it could reduce this to black and white and then reintroduce t and then tone map it. That might look better. But let's see. I don't even know if I really want this. Let's reduce the contrast. Let's not boost the brightness. Let's see if we can apply... Um, no, I should apply exposure. Let's see how that works. We push the exposure. Oh, this doesn't give me highlight connection. So I, should, I should edit this first in... Uh, Let me go back to Lightroom. And I should do it here. So here's the adjustment. I'm going to develop. What I want to do is just use these. So if I push, if I push the whites a little bit and then I pull back the highlight. You see the banding that's happening in there, though. It's like... I don't like it. Um, let me do that. Maybe I should push exposure first. And then pull back... Sh or, or I could boost shadows, actually. Boost shadows. Boost the whites. Knock back some highlights. It's starting to get someplace. So it the contrast here. I kind of want... A light, a light look. And I want to keep some of the shadow up here, but not lose a lot of it. What I'll do is I'll double up on that exposure by dropping in. What? Well, maybe that's not a good idea. I can drop in something like this. Wrong direction, though this direction. Let's see if this is what I think it does. 
I can, I can control the drop off at least a little bit more. This is maybe a little bit too big. Uh, let's see, I don't want to. This looks very artificial right now. I should. Well, I'm only using the top part too. It's too much. Um, let me delete that. Close. No, go away. Crap. Select. Delete. Good. Hmm. Well, let's go back into Photoshop with this copy. Is it making bazillions of copies? And where's Photoshop? Here. And hopefully it pops up soon. There it is. And I can do this evil trick. Which I learned from, and I think, uh, Deuce, like, way back in the day when she posted, like, her photo processing tips, which was to put, place a screen on top of another element and then use that to blend in. And it has the effect of actually lightening things up quite a bit. And then when you have that, this might be too dark, too bright, too dark though. Then anyway, once you have this, then you can go in with the erase, and you can start start pulling back some of the underlying detail. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling, I'm actually erasing the screen effect more on the top. It's kind of hard to see though. Let's see, oh, where's my alpha channel? I undo this. You can see the yeah. You can see that the top is gone. I'm at 40 percent, 7 percent opacity here. And so yeah, I've carved away at the top a bit. And so that's having a screen effect. But of course you want to knock it back, so it's like you know usable. And one, two, three, four. So this is using the keyboard shortcut. Zero for 100 percent. Five for 50 percent. 25. 25 looks okay to me. Let's compare it. It just lightens up just a little bit. It just has a weird cast to it. And I've lost. I've also got that bit here. So let me copy merged and paste again. So this is my merged copy with everything in it. So what I want to do for this is there's that new content aware fill I think. Uh, fill content aware. I think I'll fill in that corner for me. Yes it actually worked. That's nice. So now I can grab this part and drop that back into my uh, where is it? That screenshot. Oh, mismatch. Uh, let's make this a smart object. Convert to smart object. Just kind of nudge it down into that place. This is a giving a perfect idea of what it looks like, but there should be enough resolution on the source image. Maybe kind of, maybe it's too much. Probably is too much. But let's see what it looks like. I am going to take this and I'm going to... Where's the move layer? Layer... How did they move it? Is there not a move layer anymore? Oh, maybe I just need to duplicate it into the that other, other file. So let's duplicate it into the screenshot. No, wait, that's where I am. Uh, into the... But untitled one. Untitled one. Yeah, that's what it is. And that's odd. How come? I 
Actually, what? Oh, it's, it's positioned in some weird place, isn't it? That's not helpful. Let's see, let's go back and try it again. Where is it? Screen chilling, but it's all the way to the left, so I can know that's where it is. And let me grab. Um, let's try to do this. Let me do a, a copy merge again. I think that will only capture the non transparent part of it. And let me paste it into here. And that's pretty much what I want. Maybe it's. No, actually. Well, I capture a little bit more of that. Well, I guess I didn't capture enough of it. Let's try this again. Nuke that. Re enable the background. Go back to my source. Oops. Uh, no. What the hell did it just do? annoying. I moved it out of the tab and then I couldn't move it back. Right, anyway, now I'm stuck in this hell. Let me grab this whole section and how come I can't move this back? It's never real. Move back to view mock lines. I keep switching the AI on this range. Move. How do I redock this window? There used to be a way of doing it. I'd hold on option now. That's what they rewrote their entire user interface many years ago to not rely on native window stuff, so it was a translation layer. But the first three or four years they did this, it was like butt slow, it sucked. Uh, I just gotta close this. I can always pull that. No, I can't pull that out. Why? Why are things, why is this making it so difficult? There's a way of doing this. Look at the chat to see if anyone has an idea. How do I redock this where I had where it was before? I don't want this to be a separate window. This is 2608. I think it would be here. Consolidate. Oh, maybe here it is. Consolidate all the tabs. Put all the window. Oh, whew, there we go. I've never seen that, that option before. Ah, did it freaking again! <sighs> it's crap interface. Anyway, at least I know how to put it back. So once it moves off this tiny track, you cannot put it back. So, uh, where was I again? I'm pacing this thing in. Is this the entire one? Smart object. Oh wait, this is not the not the same one, is it? Is it? it looks lighter, or not more contrasty than I thought it would be. Well, maybe that is right. So what I'm thinking, oh shit, stupid library panel, forcing these features on us. Let's put this back here. Maybe I don't need those numbers. Side. 
Oh, they're kind of cool. And actually, I guess I can fit in more. Let's take it up to the 11, why don't we? Okay, so that's the right size. Let's grab all this. Copy merged with Command Shift C. Let's go back to our. Where'd it go? Did I delete it? No, I moved the whole thing around. That's not what I wanted. So we have that. And it's the right size and everything. Let's go, let's adjust this so it's. You can see how rough it was looking at Just so I want it to be. Just so a little bit is there. Let's make it the same. And that versus this. So the numbers themselves might be distracting because people might think they mean something. But let's see what this looks like. I'm going to save this as a Pong 20, oh, just, just a regular Pong. Um, and let's save it to my overlays and this will be a what? A BG element? This is a BG BG Lite, um, 14, what was it, 1440 X270 Pong? Is that what it was? Yeah, it was 1440. So I'm just putting the, um, the pixel dimensions in there so when I'm loading it, I can remember it. So I just saved a web for that. Let's go back to um, OBS. Pop OBS over here and see if I can make a live change to this. Oh, Kid has said he really likes the overlay with Discord that I have going on there. It's nice, isn't it? It's a nice improvement. It seems much cleaner. I have Dan to thank for nudging me into cleaning stuff up. I liked how he had a smaller screen. I didn't think it would work, but uh, or it didn't even occur to me to do that. Uh, let's see, where am I doing? I'm trying to, I want to add to this Discord overlay, which is, everything's going to disappear, I'm sorry, there's, uh, DSCOM, DSCOM Minimal, I guess this is part of DSCOM Minimal, oh no, it's part of Discord, and here I want to import a new image, so let's bring an image, and it has, let's call this um, BG Grid Light. BG Grid Light. Pull this out of my stream images. That's there. It's size, the correct size. And that will go there. Oh, now let's see if this screws up or not. Now, if I go back to my display plus chat and it's now that the ordering is wrong so I actually need to put um, this over here there we go so how does that how do people like that is it too bright kind of is too bright isn't it hmm look nicely placed. I could put a little bit more of a drop shadow here. Let me just do that while I'm looking at this thing. Um, where, yeah, stupid Photoshop. Let's put a layer here and let's just paint. Um, hello. Where are my brush size is working. There we go. Let's just paint a little shadow in.
Oops, too much. Just want to really get that edge. And is that too unnatural looking now? The drop out doesn't look right. Five percent brush. I'm just gonna like wave it around. Oops, that's still too much. Let's go to two percent brush. So make it a little bit more organic looking. This might not be the best mod to do this on. Alright, so at least that's a little separate layer. Let's actually multi use a multiply on that. Which will tend to preserve more of the underlying color. Let's see what that looks like. So we save for the web, save uh, this file, overwrite it, replace it, go back to OBS on the desktop 4, I think it is. Um, and then I think I can just um, go back here and refresh it, unless it's already done it. it. Might automatically do it. It already did actually. Is there more drop shadow on that than there was before? And yeah, I think so. Still doesn't look. It looks a little natural still. Let me try the dark version now. At least we have something going here. So, I guess I can close the Lightroom. Skip this back up for now. We're back here. Let me go now to the other screenshot. And do that same trick I was doing before. This one's not going up to 11 though. Let's kill this, this screenshot. Let's re do a re-edit of it. So I'm going up to 13 on the original one. And I guess I need Lightroom again. Um, hey, someone's in the chat room. Hey. Oops, I just lost my mouse. Oh, it's, I can't type. The mouse is not moving. Did the whole thing die? Now it's going. Hey, it's. Let's see. You can. How's it going? The uh, on screen is at. Say that comes uh, stream chat. I think it is. Uh, I'm working on an on refinements to my OBS uh, setup. And so what I'm doing is I'm making a new background, basically. So I took some pictures, and I am converting them into a background element for... I guess you can see it. You see you see where I've replaced it on the bottom left over there? So I just, I'm just trying to make something that looks a little bit different, because before... Let me show you what it looks like, or looked like before. So this, uh, where is it? It's um, this overlay. Let me remove that. So I have this this chat window. It's just it's just was black. Um, you know, and so I thought maybe there should be something there so it doesn't look so stark. It's, it's quite it's quite contrasty. Oh. And I just want to lighten that up a bit. So that's that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm waiting for a friend to show up and start painting the house too. I guess I should go and open the door. 
I'll be right back. I need a, I need a uh, offline, offline thing. Yeah, well, I'll be back in a, in a second. I return. So, oh, awesome. Yeah, so you can see yourself, like your chat uh, being reflected in that chat window now. You can also, if you want to hear me speaking more in real time, or if you want to ask a question in voice, you can use the, uh, you can join the live stream chat um, window. Let me see if I can show you. Can I move this? Yeah, so let's see. So I'm, here's the chat room right now. I am actually in live stream chat, and it's also in Discord is broadcasting my voice there. Um, I should probably mute my microphone so it doesn't repeat. Let me do that. So, but if you joined live stream chat, and then you could actually ask me questions, and I would actually hear them without having to look at the, te at the screen. Theoretically, we, we tried it yesterday. It seemed to work. I'm assuming my speakers are working. Uh, I really don't know, though. So anyway, let me get back to, to working on this. So this crop... All right, I needed to... Uh, let me embiggen this again. Too many screens. So I need... I forgot to set the um, camera profile on this. Lens corrections... Enable profile corrections. It's an apple. That's probably close enough. It actually, it actually seems to fix some of the disc, the weird disc uh, linear. Yeah, that fixes a lot of the linear problems. I think. All right, so that's good. I think I need to correct, correct chromatic aberration. And the transforms. I'm doing full. And then see how bad this is. It's still off a little bit. It looks like. Let's move this over a little bit. I'm looking at these dots here. There's this very Hello? faint horizontal line. Oh, someone said something. Hello. I didn't catch quite catch what you said. Oh. There's a 20 second delay too. So if you've muted your mic, you won't hear me. So you can unmute your mic. So if you unmute, oh, is this not working anymore? I thought I had muted my mic. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, we're still working out this technology. It doesn't. The, the delay is what what uh, throws me for a loop. But uh, anyway, so I'm just trying to adjust this screen. Uh, adjust the. Oh, I didn't. I yeah, was too. No, this is fine. All right. So that's. So that's. Hello, Dave. Hello. Hello. I'm getting a little bit of feedback, bit so of feedback, I so probably should turn on my headphones. Okay. I'm going to mute for a second, just so my headphones plug in. Okay. Let's see if I can increase the volume. I'm going I'm to plug in headphones so I can turn up the volume. without feeding back. Uh. 
and that means also you will be heard I believe on the you should be heard also on the uh, live stream I think I'm not sure now because now I have headphones and I can't hear you let's see let me turn this turn this on oh there's sound yeah okay so like I need to make a diagram for how this all works Yeah, so you should be able to. There shouldn't be any more feedback now. Yeah, yeah, I need to make a diagram because I ha I'm I'm starting to lose track of what what's connected to what and what's feeding into what and and this is this is kind of nuts. I can't. All right, so you've got your just your headphones. You're stuck. I can see uh, it's your um, microphone is muted so if you unmute it you should be able to talk and then it won't feed back into my setup because I'm wearing headphones now okay all right well just hang out and uh, you can if you if you want to try saying something uh, you can try it um, glad thank welcome to the the chat this 20 second delay is feeding back into me is kind of kind of driving me nuts but I should be able to hear the chat room I think I think still working it out so anyway I have this going and let me re-edit this oops that's not what I wanted to do I am going to re-edit this Photoshop file and or this from Lightroom this adjusted version hello I'm back that works great no feedback, no nothing. So let's see. Hmm. So this is back in Photoshop, and what I want to do is I want to. Oops. Just... Is it like hard to you to like do it for the thing? To do what? Like what? What you're creating on a screen? Is it like hard to do? Uh, the, the uh, OBS screen, or just in general the Photoshop stuff? Oops, I just broke something. The Photoshop. Um, what, I guess I'm doing basic image manipulation. What I'm doing is with the. Um, well, I took some pictures with my iPhone, and mm -hmm. I'm just I try to take it as straight on as possible, and then I adjusted it. Um, it's so it's as straight as possible so there's no like you know perspective distortion and so then what i'm yeah. doing is i'm just editing this uh by typing let's see i'm using all these keyboard shortcuts i think i can right click oh. it yeah. so then i'm editing in photoshop and what i'm doing is i'm making additional adjustments that i can't quite do in uh in lightroom itself okay so then so then the idea is to put it into this this area so this doesn't look so contrasty so what i'm doing I'm now at the same, i'm at the same time talking to you and watching the stream oh, is, oh that's cool is, is the delay bothering you no it isn't oh that's great it actually seems to be working pretty well i thought it would i'm getting on this I'm just monitoring the stream right now, just to see what it, just to see if I can hear your voice on it too. Hmm. I'm going to now turn on the live sub counter, so I'll tell you when like someone subs, like is new. Okay. Oh, thanks. Uh, let's see. That's what I forgot I was doing. I'm, oh, I'm, playing, I'm screening this, so I just want to lighten that, so it's less contrasty. Um, and then I'm going to erase this top part a little bit. Just trying to lighten it up a bit. There's better ways of doing this, I imagine, but this is the way I learned how to do it in 
finish up four or something like that. Oops, too much. Oh, I'm using the hard edge brush. Let's pull this down a little bit. Just erasing a bit of the top edge. Erase too much, it looks like. Do and do and do and do and do. Turn it on again. Let's erase a little bit. Oh, it undid my brush selection too. I guess that's good. Okay, that's normal. Let's put this back to screen. Wait, so can you like uh, hear hear my keyboard when I like tap? Uh, not really. It doesn't bother me. Okay. So. to get like a nice fall off here. Probably remove, still remove too much of it though. What I probably should do is, I should have done, I should have adjusted this more in, in, uh, in Lightroom before I bring it into Photoshop. So let me go back to that. Where'd it go? And let me go to these adjustments. Let me drop the contrast. Let me push the shadows a bit. Yeah, okay, that'll give me a better base to work from. I want to push this enough so I retain some contrast, but not a whole lot. I kind of want to be kind of a middle gray. And so if I look at the histogram in the, up, up here, this area, it's mostly in the middle. It's a little bit on the high, high side, but uh, we can fix that. I think I can just even drag the whole thing like that. So mostly it's in the middle and lower. That's probably pretty good. And let's see if I can move this bottom end up a little bit. Yeah, so I'm trying to adjust this shadow area now at the top. It looks like it's starting to break up a bit too. This is a bad color artifacting. Well, it might be alright, because this is, for streaming, it's, that's probably going to not even show. Although it would make the streaming encoding process a little more inefficient. Yeah, okay, so this is, I think, a better base to start on. Let's bring this back into Photoshop with Command E. And I hope I didn't just crash my computer. Really? <laughs> just every time it gets slow, I get worried. Because I'm streaming and encoding, and I have multiple camera sources running, and this is on a wired net. It's on a wireless network, and it's somehow holding together. I'm in the basement. <laughs> um, yeah, it seems to be okay though. Hmm. Let's see. What am I doing? Oh, I'm going back to Lightroom. No, that's not. I want to go back to Photoshop. It's not that. This. That's the new file. Now I had to redo everything that I was having before. I'm I'm back. You know oh. what's happening right now? Oh, you got you got booted somehow? No, and I, uh, you know like the ads that come up like every time on Google. Oh oh oh, ads are coming up. I guess I won't see yeah. them because I'm, I'm on the. And I I I accidentally click uh, close uh, for the browser and I close oh. the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, that happens to me too. I don't know how to remove those ads, which is a big problem. They have, I, I think that they have that subscription service, the YouTube Red, I think it's called. I think that yeah. removes ads, but then you're you're paying for it. But I think there's some sort of premium content from other, like, 
like cool streamers, all the cool people that you can watch their stuff ad free. Oh. But I'm pretty new to this, so I'm still figuring out how this all works. Um, mostly, I just want to hang out with my friends and like talk and work at the same time. Yeah. Okay, so I have this, and I should be able to grab this. And let me. I'm not working this. on a on a picture for my YouTube channel. Oh yeah. What's your YouTube channel? You type it into the live stream chat? Well, it's on a stream. Mm hmm. It's midnight. Let's see. Um, why is this not working? I'm going to a dialogue box somewhere. I have lost the ability to click on Photoshop and move it. Oh, there we go. I just lost, got confused with the mouse focus. Alright, so I have that. And, and actually, the color looks okay. So I don't really like the graininess up here. But at least I can try this for a while and see how it goes. This is where I pushed, pushed the uh, exposure too much. Maybe I could just try trimming it like this. I don't really need the small numbers, even though I kind of like them. So let's take that and go to my template again. Here's the here's the that's the old ones get rid of that. And let me paste this on top here. Let's go to smart convert this a smart object. This is already sized correctly. Can I ask you like a question? Sure. Do you like uh, because I'm a new ch to your channel? Do I like play like games or something? Do I play games or I I'm not sure what the question is? Yeah. Could you repeat it, please? Uh, do you like play uh, games on your channel? Uh, not yet. Some once when I was first starting, I started you know just playing around to see if I could record it. Most of my games would be on the PC, which is, and I'm, I'm running from Mac right, to, right now. I do have OBS mm -hmm. set up on the PC, and I've been playing, like, Wildstar, because uh, I'm part of the, the RP community there, and I like working on my house, on my housing. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I'm not really playing a lot of games. Um, I am playing Rainbow Six Siege with friends, but, like, lately I have been working on, uh, I have been having too much work stuff to do. But I'd like to add okay. that stuff back in, you know, to just like as a as a change in pace. I'm really not sure. Okay. Uh, are you trying to build like uh, audience and that kind of stuff, or no? Just for fun. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So I've oh crap! Did I just overwrite my. Oh, I should save this file. It's in sources. Let's call this um, B. Um, BG grid fourteen forty by two seventy and so there's let me resave the light version. Save and it was BG light replace and now let me save the dark version. Let's see what that looks like. Should let me rename it. Light 
just to let you know, the upload speed for the stream is five seconds late than uh, like we're talking like in real time. Oh wow, that's not bad. Before it was twenty seconds for me. I wonder if it's because I switched to a different encoder. Maybe. For me, it's five seconds. Hmm. How's the Discord chat responsiveness? Does it? Does there any lag in that? No. Good. Five seconds, that's amazing. Maybe you're on a much faster internet connection than I am. Uh, okay, so now I had to go back to OBS and let me change that. Um, where is it? Dis my Discord overlay. This. Let me import the next image, which is. We'll call this BG Grid Dark. And I'll browse for this. Here it is. And bright size. And let's see if it looks any better. If not, I've. Is it too bright? Now it looks too bright. Hmm. It's good contrast with the banner at the bottom, though, with the part on the top. So maybe if I just added more of a shadow there, it would look okay. Let me try that. Oops, wrong place. Uh, here? I don't think I need this background anymore. It's still saved in... What is this file? Oh, that was my template. Don't need that anymore. Um, this I don't need anymore. This, start ruining this, start naming some layers. I should rasterize this though to save some space. And this is the light grid. Oh wait, this is the uh, shadows. Oops. This is a dark grid. And this is light grid. Alright, so. I probably want to make a darker shadows. Let's call this one light shadows LT. And let's make a new layer on top of that. Shadows. Um, there are three show. people watching right now. Oh, cool. Yeah. Who are these people? I don't know. There are two lights. Oh. I the lights on the screen. That's cool. I don't think I've ever gotten a like before. So I am. Well, because you have now 128 subs, I think the people will be like more active on your channel. Hmm. Yeah, it's built up slowly over time. It's like, I think I get like Because, one... you know, like, when you get over a hundred, that's like, you know, people start getting active and other stuff. Oh, really? Huh. Well, that's neat. Because, you know, my friend was been streaming. He had, like, I think 158 subs, I don't know, like, something like that. Nice. And uh, four people have been watching his stream. Hmm. This seems pretty good. What does uh what does your friend stream about? What subject? Yeah, games. Your friends oh, cool. like games. What game? Uh, so, are you a game streamer? Mm, kind of. Kind of. What are you? Have you been playing? I play lots of games. I play like Unturned. I don't know if you know what it is. Uh, I'm not familiar with it. I play lots of games. Mm. But the. Uh, uh, I I didn't been like active on my channel for like three days because I was at home and mm. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's almost su summer is almost like over and I yeah. I'll have a lot of work. For yeah. Us. Yeah. Yeah. So I made a darker version of this. Let's see if it shows up. 
Is that too much? Maybe. I guess I just tried it for a while and live with it. Let me try the other one. So that's oops, Discord. That's the dark one. This is the light one. Do I like the light one better? Someone commented on the Discord. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, Kit. Yep. Kit, what are you? Are you? Oh, he's she's not in the uh, in the room. She's not in the live chat. Live yeah, chat. Yeah. Done a few what? For me, uh, Discord is like uh, better than Skype and other stuff. Yeah, it's been really stable for me. Like, me um... too. Oh, okay. So, actually showing. Because uh, you don't have like, you don't need to download anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can download the program, but you you don't need. You can just like create it like home party. So. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need like to download Skype or TeamSpeak or something. Like that. Right. Yeah. It's been nice just to leave it on in in the background. Also. But one of the things I was trying to do with this chat room was like when like I'm working on contract work, and like I work at home and so there's no one around, and so it gets really boring. <laughs> so I'm hoping that like just hearing other people making typing noises in the background will kind of encourage me to do some work. So yeah. that's, that's kind of the, I guess, the point of this stream. So it's not, not so much gaming, but, you know, I do game occasionally. There's not a whole lot these days, not as much as I used to. Uh, there, there, I think there is, right now for my time, I think there is like 13 people like doing not gaming stuff, like, you know, art or other stuff. Like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was looking at the creative channels on Twitch. There's like a lot of cool, a lot of people doing cool stuff on that. So it's, it's cool to see that happening. I mean, it's bringing the world closer together or something. So I don't know how I feel about this. I'm just gonna live it for with this for a while. I might have to get a simpler background. But it doesn't look. So, oh no, it's 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 too much, isn't it? Hmm. All right, and I'm... one good one one really good thing about Discord is that the connection on it is really good. It's not like on Skype that is like not so much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was talking to someone in New Zealand and it was no problems at all. She was saying that there was like the Skype often has problems for her for conference calls. Google Hangouts doesn't work for her all the time. But like at least the the time that we were trying it in the live stream chat, um, no problems. It was, I guess, kind of mm. kind of eye opening. Mm. Right. You know I you don't do? know when when uh, I don't know. I really don't know when when Discord like came out. I became aware of it maybe a year ago, and like in one of the uh, game communities I was in, uh, we were using Engine. And Engine's chat is really terrible, <laughs> so we were yeah, looking I at. I tried it. I tried it, and it was like, I don't, know, I don't, I don't know what to say because <laughs> it's really bad. Like connection is terrible. Literally. Yeah, yeah, they would go out all the time, and okay, I am making because you plane. know, like on uh, on that on that software, I was like talking to a friend, and I literally just added him, and he left, uh, but he didn't. It's, it's because it says, like, connection failed or something like that. Mm. I don't know why. Mm. I'm making another background here. And this one is just... a gray rectangle. BG. For me, I don't know if Mac is better than Windows. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I used to be 
PC only for the longest time, and I had a Mac for because because listen because uh, Mac and Windows are almost the same thing. Just just Windows is like has better graphics and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can't play really play any games on on Mac. Like no, nothing, well nothing really good. You can I think. you can play some games, but like on low on low specifications and other stuff. Oh, if you if you uh, use Boot Camp, yeah. You boot it into Windows mode. Yeah. Which you can do, but it's... What just happened? Overlays, I lost my... There we go. Do you uh, know a game... Uh, you do know a game called Pokemon Go? Uh, Pokemon Go? Yeah. I, I know of it. I haven't been playing it, though. I did play it, and for me, it's really fun. Because, mm. you know, I think it was the first game that, like, ever, you know, like, had, had, you know, you know, thing that you need to walk in real life to, like, move in game. Yeah. For me, that's really cool. That is cool. I'm curious to see what, what other kinds of games that they come out with that are like that. Well, the uh, one game already came out where it's the same as Pokemon Go, but it's like FPS shooter. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Huh. But it, it has a really weird name. It's called fa Fire.io. Fire.io. Yeah. Huh. I'll make a note of that. In that, in that game, you know, like, you ha you need to uh, capture the territories for the, like, enemies uh, can't capture it. And if some is if some enemy comes up, you need to like point the, your phone at it, and you need to like click the buttons to like shoot it. <laughs> I don't like. I'll have to check this out. Uh, are, but, I've but, heard that. But, Go ahead. I said. Uh, the game uh, has like a lot of glitches, so. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it Android but, or iOS? But it's still it's fun. You know, like in that game, you need to to uh, collect uh, resources so you can like feed like other people that are in your team. So mm -hmm. stuff. I just had an idea. In that game, you have your own drone, which is really cool. Hmm. You know, like, drone collects the resources and other stuff. Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe if I just lighten this. Maybe I'll I don't know if it, if it did came out on, like, some devices. I yeah. know on, like, uh, Samsung Galaxy S5 and higher that it came out. Mm -hmm. Because I have it. And... I, I don't know for like all the devices that it have, but I know for sure that S5 and higher has. Hmm. I have an iPhone. Um, what am I doing? I don't know about uh, like iPhones. I, know, I, I only know about like uh, Android, but I don't know about like other iPhones. Yeah. That sounds interesting though. I'm going to keep an eye out for it. On the of... Android, on listen, on the Android store, it has four to five stars rating. Really? Yeah. And a little bit of noise to this to make it look a little bit. Uh, can can I, can you like uh, listen for a sec? Uh, I'm I'm going to like read the description of the game if you want. Sure. Fire you. This is a beta version of the most thing, the tactical map, which includes a game preview coming soon. Fire you. The world's first real-life massive first-person shooter that recreates the adrenaline tacticals, the ta ta tactics and strategies of video game in real life through a mix of real-time geolocalization strategy in first-person sh first shoot sure, sure battles. Hmm. That sounds neat. 
Yeah, I'll check that out and see what what's oh, like. I'm on, curious on the how Andro they... on the on the Play Store, it's for for now. It's unrealist. You know, it's early access. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Kate. All right, I'll be up in a second. Okay. Yeah, my friend is here to help me paint the living room. Oh. So, yeah, I might. I was gonna. I was considering live streaming painting the living room, but I don't think I want to move everything upstairs. Although I can use my remote camera. This thing is like I can put on a thirty-foot USB cable, and it still works. Yep. So it should reach all the way upstairs. I don't have one monitor. I don't have like second one. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is convenient to have. I mean, so this one's this this monitor on the right is a PC, and then this is the Macintosh setup. This is the MacBook, and I have a. a I see on the I see on your far, far left. Uh, you have a laptop as you. Yeah, this is the Mac that's running OBS. This is the one I'm okay. working on right now, and this is like the um, the screen I'm, I'm broadcasting. Or streaming, okay. and then on the right is the PC, and um, I'm using a program called Synergy that lets me use the same keyboard and mouse and move back and forth between it. So it's it's like one computer. Okay. Um. So let's see. I guess I think I'm gonna try living with this background for a while. Let me get OBS off the screen. By the way, like. how long have you like got that set up? Uh, this particular one, um, yeah. probably. No, it changes. It changes, like every pretty frequently. I've had this MacBook. I've been trying to work on the Mac for the past since 2014. Um, oh. So it's been that long. I've had multi monitor setups though since like the you know, since the 90s. Um, so I used to run like when I was primarily running PC, I would have like you. Know, um, you know, two two big monitors on it, two CRTs, and uh, so it was useful for um, just doing work because I do a lot of uh, you know, graphic design, programming uh, type work, and having the multiple monitors is really helpful. So you can see, it, so you can be working on something and then looking at like at the document on the other one. Yeah. So that kind of stuff. Um, for me, for me, uh, it's really easy. Like you know, on OBS, like the multiple screens are like, you know, screens getting further and further. For me, that's really weird. Getting further and further. You know, like when you stream and record, and you look at the OBS, and you can like see. And... Oh, you mean like right now? This is right now. Yeah. 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 The the video feedback. Like, ooh. Yeah. So having it, so if I put on the second monitor, that doesn't happen, which is nice. Although I think Windows now has the uh, Windows 10 has that multiple desktop thing, which I just started yeah, using it, the other it day. Has, it has. Yeah. Okay. So I think I'm done with this for now. I had to go sign off. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for jumping in. Uh, it's is it? Yeah. It's. Yeah, what's uh, what's your uh, channel? Check it out later. Uh, well, it's it's the same name as uh, on Discord. Okay, all right. Okay. And so just I... to let you know, uh, yeah, on my channel isn't actually on like English. It's others are uh, like other other language. But if you can like still subscribe, that would be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. So, what language is it? Uh, it's Serbian. Okay, cool. Awesome. I will definitely look and check it out. Okay. All right. Well, have a good day. I'm going to uh, cut off the stream now. And okay. remember, okay. All right. I'll see you later. So... I'll see you later then. Okay. Have a good one.